Hey y'all, welcome to another episode of Cooking with Cocktails where I am T and I'm here to do all the things. But today we are cooking. This is episode number six. Can y'all believe it? We have cooked together six times, six weeks consistently. So today we are not having a cocktail, but we're going to have some sparkling wine. I know, two weeks in a row sparkling wine. Just come on, get with me. Oh, my top just popped back there. Second thing is we are going to make a mocktail, but it's going to be a tea. It is a turmeric fruit infused tea and it's going to be healthy for you. I'll get into what the benefits of it are later in the video. And then on the menu, it's going to be a completely vegetarian meal. We're going to use some meat crumbles and some spinach, some mushrooms, but everything you can totally substitute for foods that you actually like if you don't like what I'm making. So if you're interested in seeing what I come up with, stick around. turmeric tea and again I'm looking at my laptop because I was looking to see what else it may have said that you could infuse but this is another one of those recipes that you can totally add the things that you like because you may not be able to eat some of this stuff you may not be able to have oranges because of the acidity you may not be able to have strawberries because of the acidity whatever but I'm going to use these items because they are beneficial because they are anti-inflammatory they're loaded with vitamins they we have mint this is great for digestion, it's great for nausea, it's great for heartburn. Then you have your turmeric and ginger, which are also good for inflammation. Um, also some vitamins in there that's also good for anti-nausea. Um, you have your, your orange slices, you have your strawberries, and your jalapeno. Peppers in general are really good for weight loss and, you know, things like that. You can do a pinch of black pepper. You could do the best pepper to use is really cayenne, but I didn't have any cayenne pepper. I have dried cayenne, but I actually want to boil the peppers with everything else so that all of the things can get married up and infused together. So we're going to go ahead and put the pot of water on the stove. We're going to drop the fruits right into the pot, let it boil, and then we're going to turn it off so that it can just slowly steep. Then we're going to pour it into some mason jars. Now, I don't know if you saw my short from yesterday but no that was monday um i just made another two jars this is hot i made two more jars of the lavender and mint water and all of this is is two sprigs of lavender you can see that in there and it looks green but that's just because of the mint next to it you got your mint sprigs and a tablespoon, ta tablespoon of honey in each jar. Doctor in eyes, talk to me honestly. Look in my eyes, don't let it fall on me. Say you a good guy, make me believe it. Don't wanna hear it, I wanna see it, see how. Okay, we are back and we have a permanent guest. <laughs> She's home, people. She's home. Y'all will see the graduation and fashion show and all that stuff very soon. Um, but before we get to cooking, we're going to have a little celebratory glass of sparkling wine. Clink, 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 clink. So let me get the wine and let me get some glasses. What is that over here that I'm seeing? Oh, the coffee pot. <laughs> That should not be in it. And if y'all see me looking back like that, it's because my recipe is back there for what we're making. But just so you know, we're going to make the sauce first. Now, here are the things you're going to need for your sauce. Some water, black pepper, sugar, sesame oil. I'm cutting in half what they asked for because sesame oil is super strong. Um, and some oyster sauce. I think that's it. Yeah. Soy sauce. This is going to be what we use for our sauce. You're going to use some soy. I said sugar. Okay. Yeah, you're going to use some soy, some oyster sauces, sesame oil, black pepper, and sugar. Sauce. Then we're going to move to the next step. This is going to be a very quick and easy meal. Um, for for I'm not sure if you're going to eat this or not. What? It's going to be, it's supposed to be bok choy, but... At a the one at Food Lion looked ter and terrible, I didn't go to that. and you forgot to go to the store. And well, I was gonna go if I was driving my car. Oh well, we're having spinach. I'm gonna make it with spinach. 
But then I'm also gonna make some chicken parmesan skewers. Ooh. And I'm gonna fix those in the air fryer. So we're gonna do those. I'm not sure if I'm gonna record that. I might just tell y'all about that as I cook. She's back. Let me get the wine. <laughs> Can you get two glasses, please? Do you want fancy glasses? It's up to you. If it's up to me, you go fancy. So we're gonna do a Prosecco. Did they glue this in? <laughs> Now, did I tell y'all I got this from the black owned? Yeah, I told y'all I got this from the black owned um, store in Brooklyn. Happy Court, Brooklyn. Woo. <sighs> oh, you got wine, wine glasses. I was gonna go for the flute, but I, I grabbed the glass instead. Hold them up so I can match them. No, oh, you're not gonna drink a whole glass. I am not. All right, so the wine of the day is La Luca Prosecco. And let's see, it is a sparkling wine out of Italy. And, ooh, it said it has tasting notes, which I love. Wait, don't tell me. I'm not gonna say them out loud. I and I was looking yet. for the alcohol content, it's probably 12. Let's see. Oh, 11. 11% alcohol by volume. So this is going to be our sparkling wine. Let's, we looked at it. It's really, really pale. It's nice and chill. Ooh, I like you, when you swirl it, you can hear like the bubbles start to fizz up. Mm-hmm. Nice effervescence. It smells like green apples and pears. Mm, it does. It also smells like a little limey. Yeah. And there's some flower on the back end. Or herb. There's an herbaceousness to it. it smells good. Let's see. It does smell floral, but it, I don't want to say daisies, but it's, no, it's, it's not daisies. It's there's something, something there, though. Almost a light, light, light really jasmine, which is reminding me of that white wine that I had last week. So if it's anything like that wine, y'all know I was crazy for that wine. How is that light dying and I just charged it? We're not doing this today. All right, so it says bright notes of flora, apple, pear, and orchard fruits. Welcome home. Welcome back. Clink, 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 clink. Welcome home, girl. Woo! Hey, college graduate. Hey, mom. Hey, people. She graduated. I graduated. Very limey. Very smooth. I like that. But the effervescence. It's like right here. I get that green apple, that Granny Smith apple. And lime. It's very limey. It also tastes like a little like yellow apple too. Yellow apple? Mm-hmm. It's like at the very back though. I like I, this. Mm. Ooh, that was limey. It's very limey. Do I have any room in my stomach? Yeah. Yeah. So glad to have her back. I'm pretty sure she'll be making pop-up visits on videos. Yeah, you got all my shenanigans now. All of them, child. All the shenanigans. Might do a sit down and talk about how college was for you. Okay. The experience of being away from home and campus life and all of that. What you think about that? Oh, that was so much fun. She's trying the wine. She's ignoring my question. Okay, I do want to do it though. Huh? I'd want to do it. That'd so we got to make sure we get the couch all ready and good and cozy, get us some popcorn. We can do that on a Friday. Do it like yeah. a Friday recording. Yeah. And then like record it. Or maybe, no, I don't want to go live. But we can do a recording. I don't know. We'll figure it out. We'll keep y'all posted. That's very limey. Mm-hmm. This is a good one for Prosecco. I mean a Prosecco. It is what? Prosecco. A good one for a what? Mimosa. Mimosa. 
Yeah. Do we have juice tomatoes? Mmm. You could actually put a splash of your fruit punch in it, to be honest. She's going to try it. So while she tries that, I'm going to go and check on our um, turmeric water, turmeric tea, because I hear it boiling. Okay. I put the fruit so punch she added the fruit punch. Let's see. It's good. Mm -hmm. I told you, splash of fruit punch will do it good. That's good. And it's not sweet either. It's not? Try it? Sure. Y'all, capture this moment because I'm drinking fruit punch and I don't drink fruit punch. You, you don't do sweet stuff. I don't period. do juices unless they're like made. I, made. It's rare that I drink like store bought juice. Smells fruit punchy. And it's not sweet. It didn't take away from the taste of the Prosecco. You know what it kind of reminds bubbly too. It still get the bubbles. It kind of reminds me of like um that um what is that ginger ale that I always buy every Christmas? Like is it uh, cranberry? Yeah. Whatever that <laughs> one. Wanna spray cranberry? <laughs> not this <laughs> one. <laughs> It kind of reminds me of like that ginger ale yeah, that they only the, put out at the at, during like the it's fall. It's like winter berry or something. Yeah, like that. it tastes. It reminds me of that, but not as strong. All right, so let's get into this recipe. In the bowl, we're gonna go ahead and. Are you leaving us? I mean, I was just gonna go sit on the other side of the counter. Oh, okay. So in the bowl, we're going to go ahead and add two tablespoons of water. I should probably get a whisk. And then we're going to add, where's my whisk? Oh. Two tablespoons of soy sauce. Ooh, she's here, I can harass her to take still shots while I cook now. For what? Thumbnail. Was um, she at school when you went? Yeah. That oh, okay. Practice. No, because I know that there was a meeting that was going on. Meeting. Yeah. Um, no, they. I literally got there before practice started, so I stayed for practice. Oh, okay. A tablespoon of oyster sauce. I should have had this turned upside down because this is nice and thick. Oh, it's actually moving pretty fast. A tablespoon of soy. I mean, oyster. Um, oyster. I probably should have gotten another, um, well, I'm good. Um, a teaspoon of sugar. And a fourth teaspoon, I think, yep, of black pepper. And this thing calls for a half teaspoon of um, sesame oil. I'm not doing that. <laughs> I'm not even going to set myself up. Y'all spilled sugar on the counter and didn't clean it up. Where's your manners? So it called for a half a teaspoon. I'm... The quarter. Yeah, I'm going to do a, a um, full teaspoon of this sesame oil because this stuff... Y'all remember my last recipe and I had that... I followed the directions and added the amount of um, sesame oil. Ooh, it was horrible. When I, I threw it away because it was nasty. Because I do not like the taste of strong sesame oil. Oh my gosh, this stuff is so strong. Yeah, I had to throw it away. It was just way too much sesame oil in it. Okay. Way too much. Um, I don't know if we have fries. I don't know. We have potatoes, and I can smell the sesame oil. And for good measure, because I'm extra, Close that up I'm gonna add a splash of this. This is my favorite, like, um, the, the mm -hmm. well, this is a Mongolian fire oil, and it has sesame, which is why I only needed a little bit of that, chilies, garlic, onion, and ginger. This is a really good oil. I don't know if the camera, hopefully it will focus. Focus, man. All right. And I'm just gonna add a splash cause just a little razzle dazzle, just a little bit. Just a little razzle 
Just a little razzle dazzle. The little dangly ones. <laughs> All right, so this is gonna be our sauce and we're just gonna set this aside. All right, and matter of fact, we're gonna cover it. And I'm gonna turn this down because that is really boiling. Ooh, I can't wait. This is really good. It's really good? Look. Oh wow, and you don't even drink Prosecco like that. I don't. I'm about to drink that Stella though. This is in the refrigerator, the wine fridge. All right, so the next thing we're going to do is, can you put this cork in the drawer and then you can throw the cage and the foil away. All right, the next thing we're going to move to is our... Oh, now I smell the rest of the fruit. You do? Mm -hmm. It's called a slurry. I don't even know, but we're going to make it. Is that cornstarch in it? Yeah. It's um, two tablespoons of cornstarch. Ooh. One tablespoon of cornstarch, two tablespoons of water. Now let's get to this slurry. How'd you know what the slurry was? I watch a lot of food TikToks, and when people do combo, they always talk about Slurry? slurries. Yeah. Cool. All right, so we're going to go with one no, tablespoon. No, that's rue. Wrong thing. That's huh? rue. That's rue. Yeah. yeah. But there's something else that people make slurries for. It's like when they make um, sauces to cover um, for like pasta. So we're going to go in with a tablespoon of cornstarch. Do y'all know people that eat cornstarch? I've seen them. Ooh. The texture. I hate the way it squeaks. Yeah. I, it's, it's, ugh. Mm -hmm. So we got that and then a tablespoon of cornstarch and two tablespoons. Is it tablespoons? Girl, I need to get it together. I'm just excited. She home. She home. She home. Okay. And two tablespoons of water. Hey, girl. Hey, mom. I'm so excited to share the videos of the fashion show and the um, graduation. So y'all will get that video very soon. She did it, y'all. First time I graduated, I was in a car. This yeah. Time I graduated and I got to walk across the stage. I mean, cause she's, she's a COVID graduate. She's a pandemic graduate. So I, don't remember if I shared this with y'all. Okay, our slurry is done. That's our slurry. And we're going to sit that aside. And next thing we're going to do is get our vegetables cut up into bite-sized pieces so that we can get ready to put that in a pan. And I forgot to grab a cutting board. So we're going to go with this one. All right, so we're gonna go with, let's see, it calls for some kind of mushroom. Where are mushrooms at? Brown mushrooms. Okay, because I, I think I, I was looking at one recipe that called for criminy mushrooms, but I don't have criminy. I'm using portobello because they, they are one of my favorite res, mm, recipes. One of my favorite mushrooms. I like so, them. I think it's, it's actually very good for huh? stuff. Yeah. Me, um, so every Christmas Eve, I used to have a party or celebration um, years and years ago. So, and it was like, we would have friends over. Um, that's when I used to live in Northern Virginia. Well, when I moved home, I continued that tradition. And I always would make stuffed mushrooms and I would stuff them with crab meat and cheese and Italian seasoning. So now, my sister does the mushrooms. Amazing. Oh, so you never finished the story because you started talking uh -oh. about uh, COVID. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, I didn't finish the COVID story. So where's my mushroom? Underneath. Oh, can you wash that for me, please? So she was a senior during the pandemic. And someone posted a really good... Um, dedication to them and i'm going to see if i can i think i, I still have, have it, so it and i'm going to post it up here in this video so that you guys can see i think and yes i did cry when i was reading it because it talked about how resilient this class was because in 2020 she was supposed to um walk the stage right they suffered, they missed prom, they missed graduation parties, Found it. they missed 
um, senior skip day. I got the best senior skip day because we just didn't go back to school. Yeah. <laughs> they missed walking across the stage. Now, one thing I can say, it was Ooh. awesome that the school system here, I can say, and I think a lot of other school systems did it also, they, did, they created uh, parades. And so they did have a parade, which was awesome. Um, but walking across the stage is something that, you know, you look forward to that. You look forward to prom. So this year, it was so important for them to walk across the stage. This dedication to them was not only talking about that, but it was talking about 9-11. I was pregnant 9-11. So this graduating class, we as moms were in that protective mode, like, I don't want anything to happen to my baby. And I still remember to this day where I was. I was forced out of the building that we were working in because I literally worked five minutes from the Pentagon. I could actually see the Pentagon from where I was. I had to walk, the car parking garage was locked. My car got locked in the garage and I had to walk to this other building. Then they finally opened up the parking garage. We could go get our cars. Traffic was insane and here she is. So they were just saying how resilient this class is. So I'm going to post this. Um, it's long, but it's a really good read. So I'm going to post it um, as part of this video in dedication to the Grandiduit. <laughs> I did tear up a little bit reading it. You did? I did. Yeah, because it, it, it really spoke to what you guys, you know, conquered and and went through it was not an easy ride i'll say that and even freshman year college a in lot class, of them did not get to go on campus in my bedroom she did class. her first year of college at home upstairs in her room mm -hmm. and so she they missed out on that opportunity to meet people coming in together and i think about all of the transfer students who you know i mean the out-of-state students you know what's funny What's I that? graduated with an out-of-state student. I remember him, too. Yes, and it's like, you know, you look forward to those moments of meeting people, and I'm just super proud of you. I'm super proud of your classmates. Um, the recipe actually calls for green onion. However, um, I don't have any in the house, They're and what I planted outside has not come back yet. Ah. So I'm just going to put some sweet yellow onion in I it. I to go over my food line. I didn't even think about it. Oh, you had to go to the bank. Yep. Did it. So. It was so gross outside. Yeah. Is it raining where you guys are? Because it is raining here. And it's supposed to get like crazy rain later. Right now, it's not too bad. I think it's just a, like a little spitting rain. Yeah, I was getting like slightly pelted because it was also windy outside. Speaking of rain. Remember when I had called you that day? And I was like, yeah, I just got splashed. Oh, you said that on a few occasions. No, the most recent one though. I was so mad. Yeah, cause she, her school is like in the city. City. So there's no campus, true campus. There's just university buildings, civilian buildings, clumped. I think that's enough onion. Yeah. So, and as you can see, there's really, now if you were measuring things, it actually calls for um, two green onions sliced. We're using some sweet yellow onion. And then it calls for a pound of brown mushrooms, half or quartered. This is what you got. Not a pound, a little more than a pound probably. And now we're going to add some fresh garlic and I should have gotten a bigger knife. It actually worked. Okay. And it does call for garlic. Yeah. Two cloves. Y'all know me and garlic. I'm not doing that. You don't like garlic? I do like garlic, but I don't know if I want two cloves of garlic in this. Fair. Two cloves of garlic, bro? That would be super strong. <laughs> I ain't trying to do that. I don't, don't want to play them games. Well, it's actually not too bad. I'm using a steak knife and thinking about this. Do you want a different knife, Mom? Mm-mm, because that would be more dishes. Mm -hmm. It's a lazy day. Okay. I don't feel like it. Mm-mm. This is going to work. 
Just fine. Okay. Didn't I tell y'all I was going to start buying that garlic paste in the tube? You should have told me because I had some and I threw it away because you told me I didn't need to bring anything home. Oh, I didn't know. You didn't. When we went through your refrigerator, you didn't show me that. We never went through the refrigerator. We went through the pantry. Oh. The cupboard. We went through something. Yeah, because I had to stand on the chair to get everything. Yeah. So that's 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 a good amount of garlic because it's yeah, just can, for basically can, for flavoring yeah. and it's a strong, strong one too. One. All right, and then it calls for her least favorite. It calls for a thumb of ginger, but because it's um it has like an Asian zing to it, so it'll be fine. I'm not gonna chop chop it up small. I'm gonna do some slices that way you can pick them out. You know what's funny. What? If you cut it up small enough, I'll eat it. Oh, okay. And I should have used a spoon because that's e actually the best way to get the skin off yeah, of your ginger. Mm -hmm. I know a thing or two about a thing or two. One thing I can say, going on campus and not staying home to go to school, it taught you a I lot. Cook. It, you know. It, I made things because I I like to cook. But she was kind of like forced to cook because she had to eat and I, she won't at home. So um, I will say those golden weekends when I did come home and I brought food back, that was the first thing I ate. Oh really? Mm -hmm. So it's it was it was a good experience, but we're not gonna tell all the little secrets yet. Not we're gonna yet. talk about that in our um, chit chat. So if y'all have any questions, drop them in the comments. Questions about if you have a student or a child who is getting ready for college or you know thinking about college if you have questions art major questions any type of art major stuff. questions um questions about leaving okay. home for the first time anything like that um how it is to be the parent of a college student that's away from home we will <laughs> take those questions and it'll be like a get to know us right yeah so that's going to be exciting. So, um, I would try to get him in it, but you know, he don't want to do it. He don't it. do camera. I know. He behind camera. He is away from it altogether. All yeah, right. Sometimes, sometimes he's like lighting in crew. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so we have our, um, we have everything cut up. So now, uh, and it does call for, um, peppers. I'm going to put just a little bit of jalapeno in it. Not a lot. Does this, this smells fine to you, right? It smells fine. What does it taste like? It doesn't taste bad, but I... Does it taste flat? I mean, it's been in the wine fridge, so... And it's only been in there for... It's what? It's not flat, but... You were home week before last? Mm-hmm. Yeah, so, I mean, it's, it should be fine, because the wet fridge hasn't been open and closed a lot, so... Okay. But, Maybe I just need water between his little palate cleanser or something. Yeah, you should have cleansed your palate, yeah, for sure. It tastes low. Hmm. All right, so that's everything. Ooh, she makes stuff jalapeno. Oh, wait, the camera did it again. All right, so here we have our jalapenos. Come on, camera, focus. There's something I need to fix on the camera that's like, it keeps getting in and out of focus, and we're gonna get that together but we have our jalapeno our ginger and garlic our onions our mushrooms now i'm gonna cut the spinach and add that to the top and, get and then we'll go over to the stove and start cooking all right i'm just gonna borrow this mason jar um you I just need water. Oh, because I was going to say, I'm, once, that cool, once I take that off, that's going into the mason jars. But you have this one. Uh, yeah, I know I have, but I just can't. No, no, it. I was going to. This one with the handle. Thank you. Mm -hmm. One of my favorite cups. I don't know what it is. I like drinking out of mason jars. It makes me feel like I'm doing something good for the She's doing something good for the she said. Because mine's just out of plastic. Yeah. I'm just doing off, y'all. Say it with me now. What's my two favorite words? Rough chop. <laughs> Just doing a quick rough chop of the spinach and trying not to lose it all on the floor. All right. So we have our spinach all chopped up. Let's, let's slide that stuff in the sink. 
And now we're gonna get the pan prepared so that we can start cooking everything. And then this meal will be basically done. Yay! Okay, so we have our pan here. Now we're gonna add a fourth cup of water. Then you're gonna add your vegetable. You can use bok choy or spinach. As you can see, we're using spinach and I'm gonna add extra because this spinach is probably gonna end up being uh, a baby's tablespoon worth. Cause y'all know spinach just be shrinking for no reason. Uh, uh, baby's tablespoon. <laughs> All right, so we got the spinach in and then we're gonna season it. And I'm gonna use this little, um, rosemary salt and you can use whatever kind of salt you want to use a little bit of onion powder <laughs> and a little bit of garlic powder just cuz look at that spinach already shriveling up But it's gonna actually be kind of hearty because we're adding some meat substitute. Look at that. Then after this, we're going to wipe the pan clean and add oil because next thing we're gonna do is cook the mushrooms. Because spinach is over 90% water. Now we're going to add into this pan two tablespoons of, they suggest peanut oil. I don't ever cook with peanut oil. We're gonna go in with two tablespoons of avocado oil. And next we're going to add in our mushrooms. And again, if you're not a mushroom person, you can totally leave these out. If you're not a spinach person, you can find some other green that you do like. That's the beauty of recipes. You can change them up to suit your palate. All right, so we're gonna add a little bit of seasoning to these mushrooms. Even though the recipe doesn't call for it, we're gonna add a little bit of seasoning. Okay, some seasoning out so that we can give them a little bit of seasoning because the sauce has a lot of flavor to it. So we're just gonna add a smidge of seasoning. But we're gonna go in with this um, McCormick roasted garlic and herb is pretty good and it's not too salty which is why i really like it a cup of this is 25 grams no 23 grams so this is like two cups so i'm just going to add it all in we're going to let this cook over here this meat substitute even though it's plant-based it really has a lot of flavor I had to make sure that the camera was on because I couldn't even tell. I would have been sick if it had not been recording. So at this point, you add another half tablespoon of oil. Add in the rest of our goodies, our onion, our garlic, our ginger, and our pepper. I wish y'all could smell it. It has a really good aroma. Oh, you know what? I actually do have some diced green onions in the refrigerator. Oh, how exciting. I'm going to get them and I'm going to add it. We don't have a lot, but what I do have, I'm going to use. The next thing we're going to add in is the sauce. And we're going to slowly add that sauce in. 
Oh gosh, this is gonna be so good. Mmm. And you can smell like it does have like that um Asian zing to it. And that's probably because of the sesame oil and the oyster sauce. Super quick meal. We're just adding in our little slurry. And then we're going to reintroduce the spinach. One pan meal. Really quick one pan meal. I love those. Hey y'all. <laughs> All right, so here is our, we're gonna call this spinach stir fry. Yeah. Our spinach stir fry, all vegetables. This is a vegetarian meal. You could add shrimp to it if you wanted to. She said it smells good. She's gonna make hers into a wrap. And I'm gonna just put mine in, Um, I have rice in the refrigerator. So, let me get a bowl. I'm going to put a little bit of rice in a bowl, heat it up, and then I'm going to add some of the stir fry. Yeah. Just a clear one. That way it could be, what do you think? Yeah, because I'm going to add rice to it. So. so this is a vegetable rice from dinner the other night. And I'm going to just add some of this to the bowl, heat it up. But I'm going to taste that by itself first. And I don't want much rice because I'm not a huge tortilla. Huh? Let me heat up my tortilla. Okay. I'm not a huge rice eater. I eat rice, but I could go without. No, it's fine. I prefer pasta. I got only like not like non-rice eater in the house. Huh? You're one of like the non-rice eater, the you're the non-rice eater. Yes. Yeah. Alright, so while she heats up her tortilla, I am going to try our meal. Got to get some of everything. So we got the spinach. Got the spinach, got onions, mushrooms, and some of the meat. Bone apple teat. Ding. Mmm, that's so good. It's light, full of flavor. Wow. I like it. I like it. I like it a lot. Let me heat up my rice. You can use tongs. Yeah. Texas Pete, my bestie. And while she makes her wrap, I'm gonna spoon out some of the, um, I hope y'all can hear me. While she makes her wrap, I'm gonna spoon out some of the turmeric tea and show you guys. I need to get some, some really big jars. All right, first bite of the wrap. Actually, now I'm gonna wait. Only for you. Okay. I like cheese. Alright, so I'm gonna spoon up a little bit. It opened. Annoying. Just take. I, I can't. I couldn't peel it off. Thank you. Mm -hmm. And you can tell like the cornstarch mixture, it really thickened it. It's kind of like sticking to the tongs. Oh my God, this bowl, this bowl is hot. Okay. Mm. 
That mm -hmm. is so good. Oh gosh. I just mm -hmm. got a piece of the ginger. Mm-hmm. You got ginger? I can taste the garlic. That's good. That's really good. So really good. It's more orange from the turmeric. It's still steaming, very hot. I'm gonna let those steep. I'm gonna pour it into a couple of mason jars, let it steep, so I'll have that to drink, as well as the mint lavender water or tea. Nice and healthy, they'll flush your system. From my heart to yours, our kitchen to yours, we wish you happy cooking and happy mocktail making. We didn't have a cocktail, but we're gonna have a cocktail next week. Cheers to each of you. Cheers. And I wish you tons of love, tons of blessings, and lots of mental peace. I'll talk to y'all next week.